three days now i finally unboxed it and i've just played or sampled two songs or three songs on it and i can tell you for a fact this is the best speaker i have i have marshall stanmore i have marshall kilburn 2 i have bose revolve plus 1 2 i have used the bose portable home speaker the home speaker 500 but this is the best speaker i've ever heard trust i see and i find in you So this is the Bose Soundlink Max. Um, I've been wanting to get this speaker for a while now. When I say a while, I mean two months. And I finally have it. I've never seen it before. I've heard a lot of good things and only good things. And this is it. I can't believe how small it is. I mean, this is like literally the size of two and a half flexes. Is this in the box you get what I'm assuming is a basic manual which I will not need and you get a proprietary, proprietary Bose USB-C cable again I won't need this apart from that do we get have anything else like an adapter perhaps I think I read that there's no adapter that this comes with so it's simply saying that you can plug this in to your USB-C outlet and turn it on and connect via Bluetooth and I think the Bose application will work. So I'm going to unbox this for you. I have owned practically every consumer level Bose speaker that there, ha there has been since 2017. I've owned the Revolve Plus 1, 2. I've owned the Bose portable home speaker the Bose Home Speaker 500, the Bose um, Soundlink Flex, I've tried the Soundlink Mini, I've tried it all, and I've owned a bunch of Marshall speakers, I've owned a bunch of Apple HomePods, and I have also flirted with Sonos, and I think they're a wonderful company. Back to reality, this is probably the best consumer level speaker um, in the world, you know, for plug and play purposes. Of course, uh, it costs 40,000 rupees. And how does it look? Like I said, it looks like two or three flexes have been banded together. You have aluminum, it is made of some plastic. You also have some steel and you have some rope, which you can clearly see here. And uh, there's, there is some plastic, but it's nice and cushy. There's a lot of silicone which has been used in making this. Um, it doesn't weigh much. Apparently this has an aux in cable plus you have the USB-C option the battery life that they claim is about 20 hours on a single charge you can also use the USB-C to charge it as, as well as charge your mobile phone if it runs out of battery and uh, on the top you get to see these various buttons on the top you get to see these various buttons uh, I'll switch on the flash for you so um, what do I think about this build quality? Because I've owned the Soundlink Flex and I've, uh, I had the Soundlink Flex, I lost it, so I got a brand new one. I can tell you that this holds up much better than you would imagine. Of course, after every month or two, it needs a bit of cleaning with the microfiber cloth. A somewhat mildly damp my microfiber cloth, you can clean it with. Um, you can switch it on from this button right here and you have the Bluetooth pairing button. I think this is a, a customizable button on the right hand side of the Bluetooth, which I haven't seen before, or a multifunction bottle, I would imagine. So this will help you um, probably do a bunch of things. Then you have the volume down and the play, pause, and the volume up option. Now, they have an aux option right here. Maybe it's a light which lights on if you are using the aux option. So does it have any battery on it? Let's see. 
I'd be surprised if there's no juice inside this, but. So I've got a power bank, plug it in. And do I see any action, any light? Yes, I do see a light, which is blinking now on top here. Okay, so yeah. Battery 30%. Ready to connect. Oh, it did have Download battery. Download the app to access more features and future updates. I will be switching off the voice assistant because it speaks a bit too much. Okay, so I've got my main camera now, so you can expect better audio and video. This is the Bose Sounding Max, connect. and I have to connect it with my phone. So I'm simply gonna have, uh, like if you, you just need the Bose application. Um, anyways, when I click the plus option, Max is found on the iPhone, it's requesting to pair it. I will rename it later. Okay, so that's a shortcut button, but the sound is absolutely brilliant. I mean, you heard it, you, this is as, I mean, with this microphone which I'm using, you're gonna hear it as or close to original. Let's play some cool jazz. and the lows and the highs. Okay guys, so I've owned this for maybe three days now. I finally unboxed it and I've just played or sampled two songs or three songs on it and I can tell you for a fact, this is the best speaker I have. I have Marshall Stanmore, I have Marshall Kilburn 2, I have Bose Revolve Plus 1, 2, I have used the Bose Portable Home Speaker, the Home Speaker 500, but this is the best speaker I've ever heard. copyright song so be right back what song do I want to play on the copyright um Kim, I'm grateful for is a pretty radical thing to do for someone with a career yes it is it is. It was, um, it's interesting. I have always known I wanted to be married. I've always known that I wanted to be a mother. You know, I had a career in Hollywood. I was a Honestly, even on these podcasts, this sounds absolutely amazing. It feels like you are listening to this on a studio speaker, which is meant to take out the best quality of the audio. Um, I did play some songs and I found that some of the songs were a bit bass heavy. Like the bass is very boomy, but if I go into the application, like I want to show you the Bose app also for this particular device. If you go into the Bose application, you see that it's still at 30%. And if you go to source, you can add a new source, but that's not what I, I want to show you the EQ. So you definitely have bass reducer options. If you do reckon that the bass is kind of troubling, 
this is the this is what I will always be keeping it at. I never like to mess with the equalizer settings because I think Bose really understands music in a very good way, which is why I have a Bose and not a JBL or any other company for that matter. Even Marshall doesn't understand sound acoustics as well as Bose. Um, yes, Bose has faltered in the past. I'm not saying Bose speakers are always amazing. I have also purchased and sold some Bose speakers, you know. For example, the portable home speaker was too boomy. Also, the Bose home speaker 500 was too boomy for my liking. And uh, for most listening, it was unbearable for me. And so I got rid of it. But I was happy with the Soundlink Flex, which is probably why I got the Soundlink Max, you know. So let me play around with it. My first impression about this speaker is that it's very loud. At 50%, you feel like you're doing a year's grievous injustice at how loud this gets. You know, um, as far as the build quality is concerned, I think it's a very good build quality. I'm going to be doing more um, updates and reviews on this. Maybe I will put it as a part of this video. But I'm very curious about how this is going to act if I connect this with my MacBook and I use it as a computer speaker. You know, because that is what I will be using it for. And when I'm working out or when I have guests, perhaps that's when I'll be using it. Right now, when I have guests, I just play it off my Sonos Beam 2, which is a soundbar which I have. And I have to put a review for that also in another video. Thank you for watching. I, what do you guys think about this? I think it's absolutely incredible. And do I regret spending 40000 on it? So far, I want to say no. Because Bose is not the kind of company to have a speaker which immediately wows you. It slowly, slowly takes you into its own world. The Revolve Plus 2 or the, and the Revolve Plus first generation are exceptions to that rule because as soon as I got them, I knew I'm in for the best time of my life. I can't say that about the Soundlink Max because I have been spoiled by other brands like Bose and Sonos and Apple and Marshall. But so far, I just want to say the Soundlink Max is a very punchy, like I said, probably the best speaker I have right now. And if you look at the sides, you have these amazing inhalation, um, you know, almost like the speaker has to inhale, exhale. You have it on the front also. Um, on the back, you have more of the silicone, which is covering it. I had the color options of getting a blue or some other option, but I just wanted to go with uh, something which won't get a bit um, too flavorful after a while. And black is ideal for that. Thank you for watching, guys. So after 20 minutes of charging, it's gone from 30 to 40 percent. Please bear in mind, I'm using the speaker and I'm not using it sometimes. It's 60 percent after one hour. Hi guys, so today is 31st July. It has been maybe close to two weeks since I've owned this speaker. And I'm quickly gonna tell you that I still really like it. It's still growing on me. The battery life is fantastic. The, it hasn't left this particular room. I'm still in this room most of the time. Uh, however, uh, I'm gonna use it just like I use any other speaker and I find myself using this more often than not. I could be watching something on TV like a sport, but what I like to do is I like to listen to stuff on this. Maybe I'll play a song or something. And it has that ability to surprise you. So if you get this, don't immediately expect your entire perspective to change. Give it time, own it for that period, let, uh, you know, let ride the lightning. And uh, what will eventually happen is that you will grow to appreciate more things about it. I highly recommend this speaker. And uh, if you don't have the money or the intention to buy this, I would then have to recommend to you the Bose Revolve Plus, which is a unique speaker, which costs half as much as this. This is my Bose Revolve Plus first generation. I got this for 24,000 rupees in 2017 and it still works. And I've heard, I don't know how many thousands of hours of music on this. This is a very good computer speaker also. This is not the best computer speaker ever. And just so you know, uh, I trust Bose with my eyes shut. I also have a Bose Revolve Plus 2. Now, a small demerit of the Revolve Plus 2 is that it uses micro USB. But um, 
I mean, I still have some devices which use the micro USB, so I don't see that as a as a deal breaker. So if you don't want to spend all the way uh, 40,000, 42,000 rupees on this, you can get this uh, during sales. It goes down to 22,000 rupees, and otherwise it's for 26, 25,000 rupees. Totally worth it. Um, however, the combined sound of these two will probably not be able to do justice to uh, both um, Max. The other thing I want to say is that the Bose Max is probably the first speaker I've had after a long time. Maybe the Sonos Bo Beam 2 was pretty good, but the Bose uh, Max, what it does is that I don't find anything missing in the speaker. Like at no point of time, I'm like, oh my God, I wish it, this, it did this or did that. I find it to be a complete, complete uh, party of a speaker. You know, there's nothing missing on this speaker. There's absolutely no way I can give it anything less than an 85 out of 100. So that is my rating after owning it for two weeks. Have I done full justice to it? You know what, when you own so many gadgets, you know, as I do, it's, it's not often that you find yourself doing justice, you know, to your speaker. Uh, and I'm a 40 year old guy, you know, who has real love for speakers. So if you enjoy this video, please uh, do let me know your thoughts and um, in the comment section. I will be doing a bunch of comparisons. I'm gonna compare this with a bunch of Marshall speakers. I will plug these two together using the Bose Connect app and I will pitch it right against this. I have some ideas up my sleeve, so do share what you wanna see next. Thank you for watching.